All right, man, so look, we back at it again with another crazy video for y'all. Now, before we get into the video, I need y'all to do me a big, big, big favor. Go down below in the comment section. Also, wait, wait, pause. This is the same shirt, okay, because I'm in the same day, all right? I'll send this video on Thursday, but I'm filming it on Wednesday. But just last point, go down below in the comment section. All I need y'all to do for me today is just comment a red heart. Comment a red heart. That just shows that you love me. That shows that you love this channel. That shows that you love yourself. Just comment a red heart if you got that emoji. You feel me? But anyways, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to the post, forget to follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. Y'all won't, y'all won't regret it. Okay, y'all won't regret it. Also, subscribe to the podcast channel. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. People are dying, and we're advocating for justice in the streets when more black people are being killed through the hands of women. The most dangerous place in America is between the legs of an African American woman, and I know it hurts, and it's sad to say, but it's real and it's true. So you're talking about black babies dying. You're talking yes. about, uh, you know, abortion is murder. Yes. Tell the camera, mention the black babies. How many black lives are ended through abortion every year? 20 million have been killed in 47 years. Uh, I want to say about 600,000 are killed on a yearly basis, but 20 million black babies have been killed in 47 years. A lot of people speak of slavery, but during slavery, I believe it was from 1882 to 1968, it killed about 3,600 black men and women, lynched them, but that was 86 years, killed 3,600 African Americans. In 47 years, 20 million have been killed. 3,600 black babies are killed in three days, and so that's one of the apparent... It, what the freak? Bro, out of everybody Kalen has interviewed, I have never heard nobody bring the facts like that. I mean, he was just throwing out the number, 600,000 right here. Oh, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, wait. No, no, no. They they killed 2.3 million. Like, bro, this man was just throwing out facts. I, everybody that Kalen has interviewed, I promise you, I have not heard them bring out the facts like this. My, br my brother, my brother, this is beautiful. And he's a Trump supporter. 600 black babies are killed in three days and so that's one of the apparent issues of our culture and our community uh, we are about 12 percent of the population right now that's six percent men six percent women if we were to divide it straight down the middle did i answer your question <laughs> yes but why are you are you pro-life or are you anti-abortion are you both i'm pro jesus jesus matters we got to get back to the sanctity and the value of judeo-christianity Bro, Jesus! That's what I like to hear, my brother. 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 Hey, bro, Jesus. Oh, yes. Yes, bro. I like this guy. Hold on. I love him. I love him. Jesus matters. We got to get back to the sanctity and the value of Judeo-Christianity. At the adoption of the Declaration of Independence, abortion was criminalized in all 13 colonies. Where did we go? What happened? Where did we lose that value? People are dying and we're advocating for justice in the streets when more black people are being killed through the hands of women. The most dangerous place in America is between the legs of an African-American woman. And I know it hurts and it's sad to say, but it's real and it's true. And we got to man up and accept the reality and the facts of what's happening in our community. No more excuses. I'm sorry, I'm passionate. I love no, Jesus. I, I've never I heard love that. Jesus. I understand. It's, I, I think that's amazing. I think more people need to embrace exactly how you feel. You said the most dangerous place for a black person is in the womb of a black woman. Yes, that is powerful. There's a lot of people that are going to watch this video and they're going to oh, be mad at you. <laughs> they're going to say, what are you talking about? It's the police that are killing us. No, the police statistically, is that doesn't make sense. No. There isn't no statistic that you can bring that... The reason why they're going to be mad is because they can't accept the truth. All right. Now, me personally, I never thought about it like that. That's why every time I like react to videos, I actually learn a lot from it. You feel me? I get a lot of comments that say I'm very wise. I'm very this. I'm very that. I'm wise because, I mean... I do my research. I do my research. But at the end of the day, you know, when I watch videos like this, I mean, I even gain more knowledge and understanding of the certain situations. I would have never knew if until today, I never would have known that more black, more black people, black men and women are killed in the, uh, in the wound. You know, that's the most dangerous place. I would have never thought that, bro. I appreciate you for giving me more knowledge. I, I promise you, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Now it's time for me to do more research on that topic so I can be more wise. I promise you, man. I, 
This guy right here can value how many black people are killed at the hands of police brutality in comparison to how many babies are killed in the womb. The question is, do you believe that babies are in the womb from the moment of conception? And if you don't believe it, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 7 that behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. This tells me that life begins at conception. And if you're still not convinced, in Matthew chapter 1, verse 23, he translates to his Jewish audience that that baby in the womb. He said, behold, a virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. God says you have been created in his image after his likeness. From the moment of conception, he knew Jeremiah before he was formed in the mother's womb. I don't care about how you feel. I don't care about if you like me. I care about the upholding of our Judeo-Christian values and the kingdom of God being advanced in power and authority. I'm not looking for friends. I'm looking for righteousness. I don't care about no follow- I'm done. I'm done. God damn. Bro. I just bust my head out. Bro, I just tripped on my freaking desk, but uh, dog, what he just said, bro, I'm not looking for friends. I'm looking for righteousness, bro. I'm like, what? What? Dog, this man, bro, this man been speaking facts as he got on the freaking camera. Seriously, man been speaking facts as he got on the camera, bro. These lives, they, man, they gonna be mad at you, boy. The left gonna be mad at you, boy. <laughs> they gonna be seriously mad at you. Cause you're speaking the truth. You speaking the truth. They can't accept the truth. They won't be able to. You feel me? When it's some facts like this, I mean, and he even bringing out Bible scriptures. He bringing out Bible scriptures, Isaiah and Matthew. Bringing out Bible scriptures and then bringing out the statistics of the numbers. You can't fight the facts, bro. You can't fight the facts. I really just hurt myself, y'all. I, I ain't gonna lie. That was not planned. Like, I, I did not expect to fall. I really tripped. I really tripped. I got these big old shoes on, man. Anyways. Authority. I'm not looking for friends. I'm looking for righteousness. I don't care about no following. I'm not even on social media, so hate me. But Jesus loves me. I'm going to stand before him on the day of judgment, and he's going to say, what did you do on the issue of the hands that shed innocent blood? Look, people are always talking about, well, it's just abortion. It's a single issue. Let me help you. The WHO, the WHO, the people you listen to that mandate you mar they're wearing masks, they said for a generation to remain the same size, the next generation, there has to be 2,100 births per 1,000 women. We fell beneath that in 1970. Why is that important? Because it puts pressures on our economic system. It causes us to have to depend on foreign immigration. 61 million immigrants have come into our nation to account for the 59 million of babies that are being abortion. It's about resource management, okay? So not only that, we gotta deal with inflationary money printing, all at the hands of that shed innocent blood. That one issue addresses so many issues. Let's not even talking about national security issue because the Muslims bro, are more- I, bro, I never had so, I never watched the video and has like nothing to say. Seriously, I never had no, mainly because I watch dumb people. Like I, I watch people that don't have the facts all together and they don't really know. But this man has it all together. It's like I don't have nothing to say. It's like I'm just watching the video and enjoying it with y'all at the end of the day. I don't have nothing to say at all. This is kind of crazy, bro. I never truly watched the video. Never had nothing to say. I mean, this man is literally speaking the freaking facts. Seriously, multiplying. They're being fruitful. We don't. Praise the Lord. I'm, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. I just want to give you a hug. I appreciate everything that you're doing. I love your message. You're so passionate. Thank you. God bless you. When, what made you so passionate? When did you get involved in the abortion issue? What made you so passionate? When was that wake man, up moment? This was a supernatural event for me, man. God moved me and my wife from Atlanta about two years ago. And we've just been crying out and just weeping in the front of the abortion mills in Port County. Um, that's where we're at. And just God supernaturally just gripped our hearts and told us to advocate and stand for this. So we've just been doing everything we can to sound the alarm. He told Jeremiah to sound the alarm, cry aloud, lift up your voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. The people have transgressed against the, the kingdom of God. The people have transgressed and we've been silent. We've been apathetic. You've been lethargic. 
You want to talk about a million and one things, but you don't want to talk about the sanctity of human life? It's not just babies, it's the image of God. One question, one last question. Christians have a choice to make in a, just a couple days. Donald Trump or Joe Biden, Everybody as a Christian, a right why live. should you vote for Donald Trump? Real quick. The Bible has three non-negotiables. Life, Israel, and marriage. Period. If you are a born-again believer and you have a connection to the Spirit of God, you are not going to vote outside of your Judeo-Christian worldview. Life, marriage, and Israel are God's non-negotiables. If you're voting outside of that and a born-again believer, repent because you need to put your trust in the gospel of Jesus Christ and turn from your wicked ways. Because God is not in agreement with hands that shed innocent blood. God is not in agreement with people who stand against Israel. And God is not in agreement with a woman and a woman and a man and of man. That is an abomination in the sight of God. Revelation 21 and 8. I'm not going to quote it, but go read it. Thank you. God man, what the freak did I just watch? This guy is insane, bro. Literally, he is insane. Bro, I never watched. A, I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all be coming to my videos. Like, a lot of y'all come to my videos for just my point of view on the situations. I have nothing to say. Literally, I have zero, like, I don't have nothing to say right now. I mean, he literally had it from the head on. I literally have nothing to say, y'all. This man, John, he caught my attention from the moment he started talking. The moment he started talking. Let's see if there's more to it, because I love hearing him talk. God bless you're you. Awesome. What's your name? My name's Caitlin. This is our channel. Uh, we're on Twitter. We're, we're going to put that on Twitter. We're going to put it on YouTube. Uh, I think it'll do very well. I think a lot of people are going to resonate with your energy and your enthusiasm. Keep it up because that's what we need. I God like bless that. you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I appreciate okay. First off, shout out to Liberty Hangar. Shout out to Caitlin. Shout out to her team. Dog, this, this was insane, bro. This was seriously insane. I mean... I'm in shock. I'm literally in shock. I can't stop smiling. You don't see, like, people think that I be bashing black people. I don't. But you don't see too many black people with common sense. It's hard to find them because they believe whatever the media puts out there. They don't want to go do the research for themselves. They don't want to understand things for themselves. You feel me? They don't. But, I mean, this black man has so much common sense. And I'm not just saying it because he a Trump supporter. I'm not saying it because he, uh, he's a Christian. I'm not saying none of that. If they wrong, they wrong. If they right they right at the end of the day this man was nothing but facts i mean he even proved out the facts he he like literally said them, like just like this bible verses like this i mean no i really I, I seriously like god bless that man god seriously bless that man this was crazy this was a crazy video i have nothing to say i love y'all man y'all let me know what y'all thoughts are on the situation down below my thoughts on abortion uh, i'm gonna do this real quick my thoughts on abortion i am totally against it i don't support abortion at all you feel me and that's a whole nother video for a day i don't want to keep going on and on and on because this video will be longer than what it is so i love y'all man god bless stay blessed peace